The day is breaking softly and the night is glowing true. I feel a million eyes, but I can just see you. No rain, no thunder, it is just your light, your voice. So breathe. We are gathered here today for a very simple reason. Contracts in Dubai last 10 years. <laughs> and 10 years has elapsed. We are trying to repeat the great love stories of the past. Romeo and Juliet, Tristan and Isolde, which ended in mutual death. And create a greater story that of Ram and Sita. What? What? Yeah. Or for you, Crocodile Dundee and Sue Charlton. <laughs> <laughs> Stories that last forever. We are here to reunite once again upon legal mutual consent, Akanksha Goel and Rob Babakul as husband and wife. Each of them has prepared a few words to describe, each of them has not prepared a few words, but are about to improvise. Words that this, because after all, it's been 10 years. If you can't describe the person you love after 10 years, where have you been? <laughs> so I will hand over. Ladies first, always. I, I know we're in a woke society where everyone's equal, but I'm old and traditional. You might not be able to tell by the outfit. <laughs> Akanksha, please recite your renewal vows to your dearly beloved husband, Robert Babakul. So, I don't have any renewal vows because I don't even remember if I had vows for the first wedding. And I joked and said to a friend recently that I'm not making any vows. I'm not going to make commitments I can't keep. <laughs> but as I was, and as we were driving here today, I realized that maybe I was taking this a little bit too lightly. I looked at Rob and I asked, babe, is it okay if I take the piss? And he said, at. I was like, well, I'm hearing the vows. And he said, you do a you, boo. And I said, okay, thank you. But then as I, as I said that, I thought, isn't this nice? This is what makes love so nice with you. Because you just accept me as I am, taking the piss at you or me, and thanks you for just accepting me at new. Robert? Okay, so do you remember that time when we were floating in the universe of souls? Okay, so I asked her, did she remember that time that we were floating in the universe of souls? And she looked at me like, no. So look, I'll tell you the story. We were floating out there in the universe, the souls, and we were, we were deciding which planet we wanted to go to next. 
And Akanksha was like, why don't we try Earth again? And I was like, ah, oh, <laughs> Earth is so hard. Like, we'll have to get like jobs. <laughs> and she's like, trust me, like, I do this thing where like, I say no to everything first. <laughs> and she has to go through this process of trying to turn it into a yes. But honestly, I probably should have said yes in the first place. <laughs> Always. It's the same up there. It's the same up there as it is down here. It's ingrained in my soul. I'm sorry. But this cajoling sort of process, she was like, look, if we go to Earth, all our friends will be there. <laughs> and, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> now, like, <laughs> I'm like, you're, you're still so much better at Earth than I am. Like, oh. what if I don't have my shit together by the time that we meet? And she was like, it's okay. It's okay. I go, what if I, what if I get a little bit bruised on my journey? What if I, I get a little bit damaged? Will you still, will you still recognize me? Will you still know to love me? And she said, yes, of course I'll, of course I will. In fact, what I'll do is I will help you find those pieces of yourself that you think are missing. And I'll help you reconnect them to your heart. And you will know a strength and a courage and a wisdom that you didn't believe was possible and you will love me all the more for it. You will, you will in fact love me so much that you will marry me over and over. Oh. Hey, I was, I was, I think the photos back of when we first got married and I realized like we were just here. Later, I, I in particular could not know anything about anything. I don't know if you ever realized that. But... <laughs> my, my thing. The past version of me, I think past Rob, every day did at least having enough sense to marry the... I don't know if it's the same for you if you thank yourself like every second day. <laughs> Look, that's not, that's not the number on it. It's cool. <laughs> but Flynn, I really loved what we built together. I, I genuinely think the best is yet to come. And yes. I just... Yes. Oh, yeah. I love yes. you so much. Yeah. So just thank you for a wonderful life together. Other hand. We had this idea with high five that there is a room at the back of this room, and that room has a bed, and it's a really big bed. Where are you going with this? Baby, 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 baby. <laughs> I believe it's the biggest bed in Dubai. So I thought, well, we should give that a test run. Fetish. And just let's, Fetish. Let, let's walk over and take a photo together in that big yes. bed. Yeah. How many people we can fit on it? So please. So breathe.
I'm shivering, sure I'm sick.